Henry Barden. Just the man I've been looking for. Now I'm going to need you to disarm yourself. Be mighty rude if you were to draw that while we was speaking. Figured someone would find us eventually. Of course. Stealing $200 worth of jewelry from my employer was one thing. But abducting the man's wife? Even for a dumb as shit ranch hand, that was stupid as all hell. No one here but us. Madeline Brisby, presumably. Where is she? Do you have any idea why I did what I did? Oh, I don't know. You got tired of groping George Brisby's cattle. So you decided to lay with the man's wife instead. Except, she weren't amenable to that. So you grabbed her against her will. Oh, is that what Mr. Brisby said? That I'm a no-good criminal? You have a history with the law. Just as a petty thief. I stole a couple bucks here and there, that's all. Watch those hands, Barden. I'm not here to debate your moral standing. Besides, after stealing someone's money, it's not a huge leap that you'd steal the person as well. Friend, I think you've got a horrible misunderstanding of this situation. Well, why are you smiling, huh? Where is she already? I'm right here. Ma'am, I'm currently trying to rescue you, but you pointing that big iron at my head makes it a little more difficult. Luckily for the both of us, I'm not in need of rescuing. I'm sure you're very pleased with yourself, but I'm not quite following along. I told you I didn't kidnap her. She begged me to take her away from Mr. Brisby. When I took this bounty, he was adamant that Henry Barden abducted you. George Brisby is a heartless man. I'd imagine he fretted over me in much the same fashion he worries about sick cattle. He did have a couple heifers he was worried about. And the fact that he'd send someone like you just proves it. What do you want to do with them, Miss Madeline? You know I'm not interested in hurting anybody, but this one seems tenacious. Yeah, certainly not the worst thing I've been called. No! You almost got me there, Barton. Some folk might say that was unwise. I was defending her. I'd be more worried about defending yourself. And you'll hurt anyone you come across so long as you get a reward. This man ran off with you and my employer's property. By all accounts, I'm the lawful one here. His property? <laughs> That's rich. To George, I am his property. And Barton here risked quite a lot to rescue me. What does that make you? Good Samaritan. I worked for George Brisby for six months, and a meaner bastard I've never met. Every day I'd see her with a fresh set of bruises. So when she asked for my help, I did what was right. I don't buy it. You married him. You think I had the luxury to turn him down? He nearly ran my father's ranch out of business. And this is the part where you spin a yarn and get me feeling real sorry for you. I'm no fool. I did what I had to do, to save my father's livelihood. Well, you really must have loved your pa, then. Can't say I relate none. Now get on your feet. Didn't you hear a word of what she just said? Look, I get it. It's heartbreaking. But what do you want me to do about it? You broke the law. A decent man would let her walk. Or do you want to subject her to more misery? Well, there's a proper way to do things. If you're not happy with your marriage, you... Well, I don't know. You go see the town preacher or something. Risby knows she ran away. He'll punish her even more than he will me. I'm the first person to say no to him. If you send me back, I'll be in my own personal hell. You think you're the first person to ever get roughed up like that? My daddy took the switch to me more often than I'd like. No one ever swooped in to rescue me. So you're happy letting this woman be some man's trophy? Not another step, Barton. 
Your name's plastered all over the state, so no one will fault me for killing you. It's okay, Henry. Don't upset him. I'll go back to George peacefully. I know not to anger a spiteful man. It's not the first time. You're... You're free to go. I... I won't turn you in. You won't? Well, despite my best judgment, no. Thank you. I appreciate the risk you're taking. Both of you. Well, some folk have got to have standards. Well, what was your plan anyway? Two of you gonna elope or some such nonsense? Huh? Where you're both smitten with each other, right? That's what this bullshit is? I didn't like that. I'm just trying to do the proper thing. Sure. Whatever you say. Look, Barton. If you care about this lady here, then I'm gonna need you to sock me in the face real good, okay? Excuse me? Have you lost your mind? If I go back barefaced and without a bounty, they'll think I'm an idiot. At least this way I can say you knocked me out or something. And that's not more degrading? Worse than letting you two stroll out of here of my own volition? Yeah, it's a sight better. You'd really do that for us? You do know you won't get paid, right? Trust me, that is at the forefront of my mind right now. Here. This might make it more worth your while. Look, I don't need no payment. Everything I stole from Brisby's right here. Jewels, cutlery, dollar bills. Even his fancy journal where he kept all his notes. Ah, oh, sure his journal will be real useful. You have his book? George kept all his business records in there. He wrote in it constantly. Even his not-so-legal ventures. How legal are we talking? You ever read what's in here? Enough to get him in trouble with the governor if he ever caught wind of it. And if you hand that over, maybe he'll hire you to arrest him. Turn the tables on that bastard. Well, it's better than nothing. Now come on, we should really wrap this up. If you're lucky, you'll read about me collecting the price on George Brisby in the paper. But if not, You'll still have plenty of bounty hunters chasing after you. And they won't be as nice as me. You hear? I won't let them touch her. And we'll make the most out of the opportunity you've given us. I'm happy to hear it. Now come on, Barton. What do you mean? Well, I need you to hit me. Show off the bruise. I don't think that's necessary. This is great and all, but it doesn't help me in the short term. So, give me a good whack. Now whatever you do, do not knock me out. 